According to a nationwide poll by the website 538, Vice President Kamala Harris does lead former President Donald Trump by two points. Trump's winning, my friends. Trump is winning. In his election. With two weeks to go until Election Day, new polling from the Washington Post shows a tight race in every battleground state. Vice President Kamala Harris with the edge in Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Former President Trump in Arizona and North Carolina. Each state is within the margin of error. Trump is winning in Arizona. He is winning in Nevada. He is winning in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia. Okay? If all of that happens, we're having a very good night. Well, there's one thing that we can say that we know for sure, we don't know who's going to win <laughs> the presidency in this election that's going to take place in approximately 11 days. Depending upon who you talk to, Kamala's up, Trump is up. Kamala's leading in the battleground states, Trump is leading in the battleground states. But here's what we do know, in these closing days, they are, they are pulling out all the stops. And the Kamala Harris campaign is taking rallies to the next level as she just had a rally down in Georgia. Harris arrived in Georgia Thursday for another star-studded event, a rally with former President Obama, Bruce Springsteen, and others. That's right. She's pulling out all the celebrities whom she can find who will come out and support her. And there's no shortage of the list of celebrities who are willing to do so. She did that rally like I said, on, on over the weekend. And then the very next day, she was in Houston and she took it up a notch. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to my Houston family. I am so proud to be here back in Houston with my mama T and my sister. Houston. That's right, everybody. Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, Destiny's Child. Arguably, uh, Beyonce is the most popular female celebrity in the United States on par with Taylor Swift. So even Taylor Swift came out and said that she was supporting Kamala Harris. So the Harris campaign has, has been able to put together a huge list of celebrities. And it's reported that this, uh, that this rally that happened over the weekend had upwards of 30,000 people in attendance. A star-studded event in front of a very raucous crowd of what was said to be as many as 30,000 people filling this stadium. And yes, the vice president invited a queen of sorts to help her out tonight, Beyonce taking the stage after that rumored appearance that didn't happen back in August at the convention. And also some more music royalty, especially here in Texas, Willie Nelson appearing on stage and singing a couple of songs. 30,000 people, that is not shabby at all. That's actually something that Donald Trump has bragged about, the size of his rallies. But in these closing days, Donald Trump has taken a slightly different tact. He actually went on to the Joe Rogan show. And if you look here, you'll see that in the first 24 hours, there are over 10 million views of this video already. That's impressive. Joe going on to Joe Rogan was a brilliant move by the Trump campaign in these closing days because that video is evergreen. People are going to continue to watch it between now and election day. Donald Trump was even on the Joe Rogan show saying that he wants to eliminate now income taxes. So he's already talked about re reducing taxes on overtime, on tips, on social security. Uh, now he's going after just plain old income tax. So he's putting a lot of promises out there trying to attract people to him in these final days. But what's really interesting about the Donald Trump campaign, and I don't believe this is reflected in the polling, is that you have this patchwork of disparate groups 
whom you would never believe would be coming out to support Donald Trump. Take a look at this here. If you know anything about the Amish, you know how rare this is because they never vote or get involved in elections. Didn't care about it at all. But they do now because the people running this country are crazy. And they know it too. <laughs> That's right, people. Amish. The Amish are coming out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania being one of these battleground states. Amish people are even coming out and saying that they are going to support Donald Trump. They traditionally don't vote. I wonder if they're going to use a paper ballot. But, but back to my point, we've got Amish people who are supporting Trump and you've got all of these black men across the country in inner city America who are coming out and saying that they are going to support Donald Trump. Because he goes through stuff we go through. He's been shot at. He's, he's, y'all getting to see through him what we live every day. Yeah, Trump is my definition of a real gangster. He's just in a suit. He's, he's a gangster. He's, he's really, really a gangster. You know what I'm saying? He's, <laughs> he he's, is. It's, it's, it's our life every day. Most of the people I talked to said the same stuff you see on TV all the time. How do you feel about the way the country's going? It's going to hell in a handbasket, brother. The country's going to hell in a handbasket, you ask me? To be honest, I feel like the country is going to hell in a handbasket. Who you voting for? Trump. Ah, uh, come on, bro. Harris us backwards, bro. What? Harris. Man, we not we not voting for that, man. We voted for Trump, man. Why? Man, we not with none of that, man. Chuck be looking out for the black community, man. We ain't, we ain't doing that. Who you voting for, Trump or Kamala? Man, Trump, we ain't that Indian ass, man. Hey. Yeah, we ain't. Why you don't with her? Because she them immigrants. I'm black. Hey. The Venezuelans taking all our bread. Okay. They her creating gangs. They have okay. gang banging, breaking in abandoned cribs. All type of good shit. We ain't with it. So you don't, like, you don't like the open? At the end of the day, I'm Trump because I, 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 my eyes open. I can see that he was doing a lot better than what we going through right now. You can't even go to the grocery stores right now it, without making a, a, a life decision on what you want to get. You know, you got to compromise. You, we don't have to go through that four years ago. So you just heard that for yourself, everybody. You've got black men from Philadelphia to Detroit to Chicago who are coming out and saying they are definitely coming out and supporting Donald Trump. This is unprecedented. We, we haven't seen this in, this is the, remember, this is the third time that Trump is running for the president and each time his support amongst black men gets a little bit higher. And this time, it, it, like I said, it, it's looking like we're, we're gonna have a plurality of black men who are coming out to support Trump. But let's get back to this Amish <laughs> angle. Uh, there's an interview that another YouTuber did. I'll leave the description down or leave the link down in the description. He did an interview with two Amish sisters, I believe it was, and just listen to their opinions. You guys are, are uh, a fan of Donald Trump, huh? Yes, we are. So why, why is that? Because he's, um, he's a business person and we are too. <laughs> so, yeah. We like we like his business approach in in politics. It's not just all politics. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. What are some other like because his values align with what your values are too, right? Yeah. Like, what are some other things that you feel that you agree with him on? So, well, there's a there's a lot of stuff and like we need we need a better border. <laughs> we need we need less regulations. We need less rules. Uh, we need USDA and PDA to stay out of our business. <laughs> <laughs> so we need better people and to make laws and yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, are there a lot more people in Lancaster County that are voting for Trump? now than used to? Yeah, I think so. There's there's a lot of Amish that are at Chester to vote this this election. So there's a lot of Amish that are that are voting that are voting now. That are voting now. Yeah. And you said that a lot of people a lot of the Amish don't put a sign in their yard. Yeah. What, why hardly anybody does, no. Not from the not from the plain community. Why is that? 
They don't want to draw attention. That's probably the reason. And we believe in warning, but we believe in just doing it quietly and not not to make a big fuss about it. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are the values that the Conservative Party has, Trump has, that the Amish community identifies with? Well, we're pro-life. Um, uh, we're, I can say we're pro-freedom. Uh, you know, to be over-regulated is just nuts. I mean, you go back in the history of George Washington and through the different presidencies, and the uh, Bill of Rights, all those were based on freedom. They weren't based on overregulation. Uh, you know, the politicians didn't make a career out of it. They, it was a dis, almost a disservice to be a politician. Today we are a politician because we make wealth off of it. Trump didn't keep a dollar when he was president. How about all these other politicians? You, how about they go four years without taking a dollar? You know, our values, conservative values, and the Amish values line up very close. We don't agree on everything, but we agree on most things. The liberal values are absolutely crazy. I, it, it, seriously, anybody is, is de deciding if they want to vote for a Democrat or Republican, I got a simple question for you. Which is better, California or Florida? New York or Texas? Like seriously, if you don't know who you should vote for, think about the policy. Think about the states that are run by Democrats Think about the states that are run by Republicans. Very simple choice. I, I can't impress upon you enough. Think about this. Amish people, they don't embrace technology. So they're not walking around with smartphones. They're not walking around. Uh, they don't have flat screen televisions in their homes. They don't have computers. They don't have internet access. They have a very, very simple life. But these two sisters and this other man, they seem to have an opinion that they formed about the direction of the country and even they are coming out and supporting Donald Trump. This is what the Kamala Harris campaign needs to be concerned about. They're looking at the polls, they're looking at their internal polling, but I guarantee you no one within the Harris campaign thought for a moment that they were going to go out and poll the Amish. Not that that's a huge number. There are 35,000 Amish in Lancaster County, and there are approximately 85,000 Amish people who are in the state of Pennsylvania. But if you remember the last election, these battleground states are won with sometimes fewer than 15,000 votes. So if 85,000 of these Amish people, and let's just assume that you know 75% of them are 18 years and up and are of voting age. You know, you could you could have that 60,000, approximately 55 to 60,000 Amish people who could turn Pennsylvania to a state for Trump, all because the Harris campaign did not factor in how this small, seemingly small and insignificant population how them coming out can turn their vote model completely upside down. I, again, we're 11 days out. We, we have no idea what's going to happen. But what we do know is, is that the coalitions of the past and the polling models of the past might not fit this particular moment. Do me a favor, I'm gonna to continue to put out content uh, about this election. I'm gonna put out some more stuff over this weekend that you don't wanna miss. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and leave a comment and a like on this video. I'll catch you at the next one.